Those of you who have any questions, let me know. I I will check from time to time. If not, then just enjoy the enjoy this. Look at that. Oh la la. Which Francois? So what I like to do is I like to I like to um, ask people what they would like me to share on my videos, what they would like to find out from what I do or the things that that I know. Um, I'm gonna start asking people what they want me to share because I'm gonna change my I'm gonna change my approach of. Delivering content and sharing the things that I know um, One of the things that I'm going to start doing different is I'm going to start asking people every time I do a video what they would like me to share Maybe get a little bit of insight. I know that I'm not going to get all the insight from there I, I understand how this works already, but uh, but I also want to find out if, if there's any correlations of, of, of Things people would like to know or pinpoints, you know, pinpoints, pain, pain, pain points. How's it going, Henry? Good to see you here. I'd like to know if people have a specific pain, pain points that they would like me to address. I'm going to make a video um, on, on how to sell on eBay. And uh, and consequently, I'm gonna make videos on on how to sell on Instagram, how I sell my work on the various platforms, because I think pe people are, are are in need of of more, right? Um, they want to find out more. And. And some people want a an entire uh, roadmap, right? A roadmap, and, and that's that's where I do the coaching calls. Entire roadmap, right? Step by step info. Do this, do that, and get you know X and Y amount of uh, results. But I'm gonna start addressing things that that. I haven't yet. Lots of people want to find out. What do you do your first your first uh, art show? How how to get the first art show? A lot of people don't even don't even know that yet. I know a lot of people ask me about about selling and marketing and, and all of this good stuff, but there a lot of people are not even ready there. They're not even there yet. They haven't taken the first steps. Like like hey, how about creating artwork so that you have something to show.
<laughs> Henry says, I like listening to you while I paint. You give me little nuggets daily. I also love uh, eating or hearing you paint. <laughs> it says eating. <laughs> There's my input. I like it. Or seeing me paint, I think is the word, right? But some people, some people want to learn other stuff, right? Some people want to learn. Uh, I recently had a question about, hey, how do you build your boxes? Or no, the question was, where do you buy your boxes? And, and my answer is, I, I build them. But to, to me, that's very natural, right? Because I've been doing it for so long. But to other people, it's not. I have a couple of videos on YouTube where I show that, by the way. But my wife actually is, is showing how to, how to box a painting. But, um, but to me, it's very... Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> I know, spe spell check always ruins it for everybody. Uh, yeah, I mean, I... Thank you so much. I... Um, To me, that's second nature, right? Like, like packaging the work and all of that. Understanding that I had to build the boxes because paintings are different sizes. Have you tried buying boxes for paintings? It makes no sense unless you're selling the painting at a very high price. It makes no sense to buy a box for a painting. Right? And so people ask me, and even if even if you sell at a high price, still makes no sense, because because I already figured that part out, right? So to me, it's to me it's it's common it's common sense, but not to everybody. That doesn't mean that it's common sense to everybody. The, the fact that I figured out that it's better to make the box than to than to buy it, or the fact that I figured out that it's better to to. Um, To buy uh, cardboard in bulk, right? pallets of cardboard or flat, flat sheets of cardboard. That makes a lot of sense to me, right? But, but it took me it took me time to figure it out, and, and it didn't just take me time. It happened again, guys. I'm gonna share with you something. It happened by osmosis. It happened because I'm in the I'm in the ecosystem. It happened because it was a natural progression. If I'm selling a shitload of artwork, then I need to find out how to package it and ship it you know if I'm if I'm just selling one painting a week I wouldn't be worrying about it a lot of people worry about stuff that they a lot of problems that they're not facing yet wait till you face the type of problem that you have to you have to ship 60 paintings in a week or a hundred a hundred art pieces in a week and then you sold 10 of them on different websites and you're gonna to have to talk to the people who bought them who's going to get to keep it and who's not those are some those are some, those are some good art it's problems uh, tilt Tilting stars, tilting stars. There you go. I have to. I, I'm so sorry. I have to like really read. Tilting stars says, uh, "I like how you're you effortlessly move from canvas to canvas." Yeah, that that took me like 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 20 years to figure that one out. <laughs> that took that took me a, that took me a long time to figure it out. So I'm I'm really happy that you acknowledge that. That is not as easy as I make it seem today, but but. Uh, because you're really fighting your mind, right? So at some point, um, if you do it enough, you you beat your mind, right? You beat your mind. Your your mind doesn't want you to move. My mind wants to rework and rework a canvas. Right? It used to, not anymore. I, I don't care anymore. But it used to be that way. I used to be the type of artist who couldn't move. 
uh, not even finish one canvas. I, I was the type of artist that worked six months or two years on a single canvas. Nothing wrong with it, by the way, but it doesn't work for, it doesn't work for, for if you're going to do this full time, it doesn't really work unless, unless you, I don't know, you land a great gig with some, uh, some big gallery or museum, maybe that might work. But even then, I remember reading that the, 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 the impressionists were trying to get super cool, right? And they wanted to they wanted to paint pointillism. Lot, lot, lots of them wanted to, to do a form of pointillism. And, and the galleries got upset with them because they took too long to paint them. Their gallerists would get upset with them and, and they actually needed to move away from that type of pointillism because because they, there was no profit, right? It took too long to paint. I remember reading that, uh, what was this cat's name? Yeah, Monet and everybody, you know? Monet became more abstract as, as the galleries started accepting him because he realized that he needed to, he needed to move, right? While, while keeping the integrity of the artwork, how do you do it? How do you move while keeping the integrity of the artwork? That's a trick right there. I don't want to undercook it either, right? I don't want to undercook the painting, but I don't want to overcook it either. So I don't want to lose the integrity of the painting, but I also don't want to lose myself in it. So what do I do? So that took me years to, to figure that one out. For me, right? What's what's good for me? See, at the end of the day, you have to come into terms you, right? You have to come into terms you. I remember finding out that Andy Warhol, when he met uh, Michel Basquiat, he said, he said, oh my God, he's faster than me, right? He wasn't saying that he was faster than him if you're a full-time artist or someone who creates work often, you realize that that's not what he was saying. It wasn't the speed that he liked about him. It was the confidence. He was really trying to say he's more confident than me at creating artwork. He has more confidence. Artwork, in, in artwork, speed is confidence. Too fast, you're desperate. Too slow, no confidence. You're desperate in, in, a, in a negative way, right? Not not desperate like well, I think all desperate as it's negative, but not desperate as in as in you're moving. There, there's no enthusiasm. You're you're scared. Too fast and you're you're painting scared. Too slow and you have no confidence. So you have to find out what's you. What is you? Tilting, Tilting Star says, I have a problem with overcooking my paintings. Yeah, yeah, I, I think we all do. I mean, until you don't, you know, you have to. I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's.